Wendell and I go back a long way, back to Where Are the Children, my first suspense novel, and he was asked to do the cover on it. And I love that cover. I always felt it sold that book. It's interesting that Mary's career really started with Where Are the Children, and so did that painting start my career. And uh, it's been many, many years, but uh, out of that one meeting and the fact that she purchased the painting started a friendship that's lasted so many years. A friend of mine said, you know what you must do that is really chic? And I said, well, tell me. You know, this is my first suspense novel. She said, you must buy the cover art of your book. I said, all right. And I phoned Wendell, and I had not met him at that time. And I said, I would really like to buy the cover art for the book. He said, well, I'd be happy to sell it to you. And he said, I would want to have the ability to borrow it for an exhibition from time to time. And underneath the painting, I will have a little framed credit that says, from the collection of Mary Higgins Clark. I said, Wendell, take out from. This is the collection of Mary Higgins Clark. For us to come back in two convergent uh, paths to meet and do a children's book 25 or 35 years later is truly remarkable. And when Mary and I started talking about doing a Christmas story, we needed a setting. We talked about the premise of a farm. Wendell lives in Washington, Connecticut, and there is a farm that has been owned for nine generations by the same people. The farm that's in the Magical Christmas Horse is the oldest farm in our county, Litchfield County. We decided on the premise of using that family farm, and then we said, well, what's it going to be about? I discovered there was this old antique wooden horse in our local museum that had been passed down from generation to generation uh, in another family and I thought all you have to do is give Mary two clues and she's off and running. I was so delighted to see the story that evolved out of these two clues.